हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अनदर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज नंबर कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हाट वी विल बी गिवन टू अस विल बी गिवन अ इंटीजर एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट व्हाट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज अ इंटीजर यू गेट वेन यू फ्लिप ऑल द जीरोज टू वन एंड ऑल द वन टू जीरोज इन द बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द इफ इंटीजर फाइव इज गिवन दैट इज इट्स बाइनरी इज दिस देन इफ यू नीड टू फाइंड इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट what will happen 1 will change to 0 0 will change to 1 and 1 will change to 0 c so 1 is changing to 0 and 0 is changing to 1 which is integer 2 so if you see the decimal of this this is 2 so let's see how we'll approach this problem so this is uh, the integer given to us and its binary representation and the output is 2 so if you complement this so 1 will change to 0 0 is changing to 1 and One is changing to zero, so this is two. This is in the decimal. This is two. So see how we can approach it. So this is the binary representation given to us, and we have to do something so that this one changes to zero. Let's just focus on this one. Suppose you take this thing. We have this thing. Then, if in order in order to change this one to zero. Which operation you can perform? Can you use and? Uh, can you use or? Can you use and? So uh, or can you use or? Just pause the video and think. See, we will be using or. Why? Because if we have zero zero, then or gives us zero. If zero one is there, it gives us one. If one zero is there, it gives us one. And if one one is there, it gives zero. So if there, if here, see, if here, it will be it will be one. and here it's one only then it will give us zero that is complement of this so what we are doing is what we did uh, was over here it's zero so we are zoring uh, 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 this thing and this thing now let's think for this zero let's think for this zero over its over here it's zero and i want to get complement of this zero which will be one here so that means if i have to get 1 what if i have to get 1 and i have 0 which is here what i'll do i need to have 1 over here so basically at and so this will give us 1 so what we are doing over here is every time we are finding the power of 2 let's see how see this is given to us 101 1. this is the integer given to us first of all we will find 2 raised to power 0 2 raised to power 0 is binary is 2 raised to power 0 is 1 its binary is 0 0 0 0 1 right so what we will do is we will have this and what we will do we will do zor of these when we will do, do zor of these so this and this will give us 0 right now again and this will be uh, this will come out to be 1 and this will come out to be uh, sorry this will be 0 and this will be 1 which will be as such as it was here right now again what we will do is see we we have in the first step we complemented this this earlier it was 1 now it's 0 now again we will see 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 1 is 2 and its binary is 0 1 0 now 1 is at this position 1 is at this position so we will be dealing with the second bit that is 1 if 1 0 0 is there so what we are doing we are having 0 1 0 so it it totally depends upon 1 over here if it's i see 0 0 will be as it is only nothing change because when they are same nothing will change now we have 1 here so this is the bit we are focusing on right so Zero one will give us one. So you see, this is getting complemented, and then we have one zero. So this will come as uh, as it is. One will come as it is. One, and at last we will do two raised to power two, which is four. So zero. This will be one zero zero. So we will do zor of this one one zero with one zero zero. So you see now we are focusing on the third bit this one 
this is one and this is one so if this is one this will be one only this is one so it will change to zero if it had been zero here then it will change to one so this is the point of taking zero and these will be as such so these will be as such right so if, if you see this is the complement of the of this number which we have taken 101 this is the complement of that so what we did we found the complement of 101 and it came out to be 010 we are we are at each point of time we are finding two two's power and we are doing zor of that with the number and obviously number will be updated so i hope you understood the approach let's see the code so if you see we have give, we are given a number and we are running a loop starting from 1 and uh, i is less than equal to number and i uh, is uh, we are what we are doing is number raised to power i so either you can do both things either you can uh, take like over here what we were doing was we were taking every time twos multiple to then we were taking four then we take uh, they, uh, we were initially we took one then we took four then we, two then we took four so this is what we are doing over here and we are taking zor every time and then we are returning the number at the end because that will be the complement so the whole gist of the problem was that we have to find f for each digit like if this is given to us 10101 for each digit we have to find its opposite and how you can get opposite of a particular thing you can use zor see if these are same then you get same thing but if these are different you get one which is zor, which is opposite of this right like this so this was the main gist of using this approach so i hope you understood the problem time complexity uh, is o of 1 constant space because At at max, this could be a uh, up to 32 because there are 32 bits, and uh, O of one space because we are not using any extra space. Time is O of one uh, because we can have at max 32 bits. So, so I hope the video was helpful. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it highly motivates me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.